My team's senior design project was to develop a retinal identification system as a superior alternative to fingerprint or iris matching security systems. So given two retinal vasculatures, how do you compare them and how do you determine that yes, these two retinas belong to the same person or no, these are two different people's retinas? Yeah. So no more gelatin. So for this semester, my senior design project incorporated developing a bone cement for vertebroplasties, which basically means uh, finding a cement and, in and injecting it into vertebral fractures that are in the back. So if anyone jumped off a bridge or something and, and their, bra their back broke, you'd be able to find a way to inject the cement into their back and then regenerate their bones. The goal of our project was to integrate neuromuscular electrical stimulation um, into kind of an everyday use device for uh, amputees to build up muscle over time. I first realized that I wanted to do biomedical engineering when I was about 15. Um, I knew that I really enjoyed science and math and that I wanted to help people um, in medical industry, but I really didn't want to become a doctor and go to medical school. The difference between biology and biomedical engineering is the fact that biology is purely just the body system and just the ecosystem, but engineering is more what tools can we implement, what research can we do to better the human body. It bridges the disciplines between scientific research and the medical industry. In BME, you do things like create the medical devices and the tools that surgeons use in the operating room. Doctors present the problems that biomedical engineers need to solve and biomedical engineers give the solutions that doctor needs to have to uh, apply to patients to make them better. We kind of take a, a mix of all the engineers. We uh, have, have some chemical engineering classes, we have some electrical engineering classes, we uh, do a couple of things that uh, mechanical engineers might do. And, uh, when it comes to mechanical engineers, civil engineers, and electrical engineers, they have to take a lot of things into account such as, you know, um, building materials and building a machine and this and that. But at no point is their object itself a person, someone who is able to breathe, who has emotions, who has thoughts. Let's say you have a patient that has a heart valve that needs to be replaced. Well, you might think, okay, well, let's just throw in a metal valve. Well, what kind of metal? Some metals um, cause responses in the body and make it so that, you know, there's clotting that forms and then instead of a valve, you have a blockage. When I came into BME, uh, I first expected my classes to be completely biology based. One thing about biomedical engineering that was a surprise to me was definitely the programming. Like whenever I, when I think about biomedical engineering, I don't think about having to program things. When I started BME, I didn't realize how much um, programming was involved and how many different aspects of BME there really were. I think the traits that make uh, yourself a good biomedical engineer is having a good worth ethic because you're going to go into BME and you're going to work hard from day one. Also having the right time management um, abilities is a big thing that goes hand in hand with hard work. I believe that in order to be successful in biomedical engineering, you have to be willing to work hard. Because this, especially at UT, the program is really competitive, so. Um, everyone is at par at your intelligence or definitely even smarter. I, think, I personally think all of my colleagues are smarter than me. But that just makes you want to learn more and makes you um, just realize what you're surrounded with. I mean, I, that also is actually a great thing because you can talk to, go up to any one of your friends and ask them for help and you know there's someone you can go to in case you're, you're not sure of what you're doing. Biomedical engineering is a very rewarding field just in the sense because you know you have the most direct contact with your customers, you know that you're improving their health some way or another. In the end, I guess that's what engineering really is. It's just based on the skills you have and based on other skills they can learn, how can you improve something or build something to advance medicine, to either treat diseases or completely cure them, whichever way possible, through whatever imaging modalities, whatever treatment options. It's all, it's driven by medicine to better medicine.